Hello YouTube, Daniel Carmi 305 here, but today I'm not coming to you as Daniel Carmi 305, but as Daniel Carmi. And this is actually a project for school, my presentation of a city in either America or Great Britain in the time of the Industrial Revolution. So as you can see, I have a large stone wall around my city for protection and a two-layered gate. This is like a drawbridge gate, so it can go down and protect the city. If you go to the left, in the beginning here, you can have a river that will has a few stations to stop through the city. And if you go to the right, you have a railroad, an actual working railroad. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to put down a cart on the railroad, get in, and I will show you how it works. You press the button. And off you go. And just gonna, I'm just going to show you the railroad. Then I'm going to get back to go back to the beginning and give you a tour of the city. So this goes around this back side of the city, which means that you don't really see everything, but it's a good good way for transportation. As you can see in the bottom, I have four items. And um, let me just get out of my car. I'm going to run back to the beginning. I have four items, an iron shovel, an iron pickaxe, an iron wood cutting axe, and an iron seed drilling hoe. So now I'm going to give you a tour of my city and every single place in the city. So as I said earlier, also you can I could ride the boat anywhere in the city. So that's the two main modes of transportation. Now there's many roads in this. The first road on your left is Farmers Avenue, in which you have three farms and a well. This is the public well. It's a brick well, and if you can go, if you go down, you can see that. And um, if you go to your left at the end of the road, you have a wheat farm here, where wheat can be grown. If you turn to your right, you have a sugarcane farm. In the sugarcane farm, you can see we have reeds of sugarcane, well not reeds, but sugarcane growing up. And if you go straight, you have a mushroom farm. And in your mushroom farm, you have all kinds of mushrooms. And if you go far down, you can see the mushroom farm slash research. So here is a research center for red mushrooms, tree saplings, and brown mushrooms. Now I'm going to run to the other side. To Daniel Boulevard. This is the energy plant for the city, which is because it's an industrial revolution. Here's where all the power is grounded a dual powered engine. Some of the power comes from the water wheel, which I will show you now. A water wheel with water falling on it. And the rest of the energy, the other part of the energy, is generated by that windmill which I will go into detail and show you later and it has that cable going along and getting power from the windmill which goes through here this is a generator used to, for the telegraph it's for a mode of communication here we have a courtroom the two witnesses sit over there judge stands up here and the um, crowd or whatever you want to call it sits over there. If you go down this way, I'm going to run to the windmill. So you can see this is where the railroad goes over. That's the windmill and you get the power from there. Goes out there, through there and to the energy plant. Now, I don't know if I showed you this before, but I'm going to show it to you now. You actually have a sewer system and this different block here is supposed to be a manhole. You break down the manhole, and you actually have an underground sewer with water in the bottom. You can walk through the sewer, but that's not very interesting, so I'll go back and I'll um, continue the tour of the city. Put back the manhole, and let's go. 
Now this is the next layer. This is resource lane, and you're gonna be you're gonna see why it's called resource lane. Here we have a fishing pier, which is one form of food. You can fish for your food here. This is public, so anybody who wants can access this. This is the lumberjack's house, and very and it's positioned right next to the um, strategically positioned right next to a forest. And here you have an ore mine. And though it looks small and humble from the top, if you go down, you will actually see it is a much, much, much larger mine with a mine cart to ride to the bottom. So let me just get in the mine cart, ride it to the bottom, and I'll show you from the bottom to the top what there is. Here we have some gold ore. Here we have some coal ore. And here we have some iron ore, and all the way up there, there's no sign, a little bit of diamond ore. And we have the minecart down there, and I'll go back up. So this was resource lane, now let's go to the other side, trader's route. We have the marketplace over here, which is a small, humble marketplace. And over here we have Town Hall with a nice big golden throne for display and some decoration there that I use beds for and some information about the Town Hall for new people. The main source of energy is water even though we do have a windmill. Main, so main way of transportation is boat even though we do have a train station. Main town profession is farming and the town name is Canopolis. Now let's continue. Here is connects to the fishing pier, and that stream over there connects to the boat river. Here we have Citizen Lane. Here we have a post office, and in the post office you have mailboxes with actually some letters in them. This is another mailbox with some letters. This guy has some gold in his mail, somebody sent him this guy also, and this guy has a lot more. Now let's go over here, which is a jailhouse. You have two jail cells where all they have inside is a bed, torch for lighting, and a steel door so they can't escape or anything. And let me continue. Here we have residential district with four houses. All the houses are the same. I'll show you one of them. This is the bedroom, and up here is a balcony with a nice view of the other house and all the houses are the same except for the one at the end of the road which is the mayor's house which is pretty big um, let me show you it with an automatic door that closes behind you have a spiral staircase with a great view of the entire city so let me just go back down and I will move on to the rest of the city Here we have the emergency road, where we have our police station, our um, fire station, and our blacksmith. Our police station is here, with people are going to stand behind there, ready to serve you whenever you need it. Here we have a fire station, with all the fire dogs, and a fireman's pole. So let's just climb up the fireman's pole, and we actually have some dogs here that we can command them to follow us or tell them to sit and stay but I'm gonna go down the fireman's pole and I have the rest of the dogs are over there and this is the blacksmith these are all the anvils and we even have some furnaces which are currently working on some smelting turning iron into steel and things like that let's continue getting to the end this is uh, the end of the river over there and night is coming soon so I'm going to probably go into the mayor's house which is me and sleep it off and in the morning we'll continue this journey let's just see that's gonna be the church or 
It could be for any religion you want. And that's going to be the end of the video. But for now, I'm just going to go sleep. Let's just stand on the balcony a little bit. Watch the sunset. And go to sleep. Now we're going to wake up and continue our journey. That's, as I said before, the end of the thing, of the river. Here we have the Carmichians Road, where we have a bank with lots of gold stored in the back. And we also have tourist trail, but I forgot to show you something on Carmichians Road. We actually have a little pathway going to the public schoolhouse where it's for a, more of a kindergarten with lot, for lots of little kids. I don't know if you can see, but we even have some spider webs growing in the corners. We have book cases over there, some cake for the little kids, and lots of beds. And our bell house up there at the top. Now we're getting to the end of the tour. This is the tourist trail. For all your tourist needs, we have an outdoor theater for entertainment purposes. And this is the stage, and they perform. And this is the seating over here where I'm walking. And over here, we have a small restaurant with some tables and some nice tile floor patterns that look like the oars, as you saw earlier. And now, what took me the longest obviously is this huge um, church or whatever you want it to be with bookcases and nice lighting and a huge um, glass roof and glass designs all over and lots of seating and lots of intricate designs and this is where the person talking would stand and so that's mainly everything I'm going to go outside and get uh, an aerial view of the entire place. There's a little bit of fog, but as you can see, the entire place has a stone wall going around it. That's the river. goes over there. And so that's pretty much it. I hope you like it. I put a lot of effort into this. And in my opinion, it's pretty good. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.